Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you had an awesome Christmas. Uh, standing here in front of the Freedom Tremor, actually, there's, as I'm filming this, there's less than one week until raffles open for this truck. So you can win it. If you haven't been up to speed on this truck or what's going on with it, I'll put a little playlist up here, which has the build updates, the progress, all the info you'd ever wanna know on the truck up here. Uh, and if you want to enter the raffle uh, and find more information as well, go to freedomtremor.com. And that's where we have the website where there'll be information on the truck, obviously, uh, build partners and how you can enter the giveaway. So, so yeah. And then all that money is going to be uh, going towards a charity, A21. It's an anti-human trafficking organization that's been uh, near and dear to my heart for a while, as well as Diamondback. So we chose that organization and stoked on it. Really excited about this whole project. Sorry, it's like uh, low 20s outside right now. So a little bit, a little bit chilly for me. Um, so this video, I'm going to be talking about this rack system. So in the latest update on the truck, if you're wondering, the truck as it sits now is how it's going to be given away. So this is the final version, everything on here. Um, but I talked briefly on the rack system, which wasn't out at the time. So now this rack system is, is out. You can buy it. Diamondback sells Diamondback covers, obviously, but they also sell a bunch of accessories, including racks that can go on their bed covers. And this was a collaboration with Yakima where they um, kind of designed some of the existing Yakima ecosystem, which is cool because Yakima also has an ecosystem much like Front Runner, um, and their products kind of work nicely on their rack systems. So kind of an evolution of their ecosystem to work on the Diamondback cover specifically. I'm gonna release one video soon with A21. They, they flew out to Colorado and I sat down with them and just kind of asked them a bunch of questions. Where's the money going? How's the organization work? What do you guys actually do? Uh, so if you're interested in that video, that will be specifically about the A21 organization as well as kind of human trafficking in general. A uh, really interesting conversation I had. So I'm gonna be releasing that video soon, probably like a week. And I'll probably be releasing a second video that just kind of goes through everything on like giveaway, how's it working, the raffle, how do you enter, that kind of stuff. Um, but basically there will be some things that you can buy. I designed a custom PVC patch. There's a limited amount of those. Buying that will get you an entry. I believe we're having some custom t-shirts made up. Those will get you an entry. So yeah, those and then maybe some more again, <laughs> I'll, do, I'll do an update uh, video on how exactly you're gonna get entered. And then you can just donate as well. You could donate directly to A21, awesome, but might as well donate uh, through, through our little giveaway. Because again, this is not a for-profit giveaway. Like I'm not, I'm not seeing literal, I'm seeing not a literal cent from the money we raise from this and Diamondback's not doing it as a for-profit thing either. This is really a charity thing, which makes it uh, extra cool and different than a lot of the other giveaways that you, you see out there. Okay, enough of that. Let's, let's get into this rack system. I'll pull the camera off the tripod and kind of walk you around and kind of show you. I'm uh, gonna compare it a little bit to the front runner setup and uh, Yakima actually has two basically base leg setups that you can use, so I'll show you both of them. So basically this rack system consists of this channel, which is bolted to the Diamondback cover. Uh, they told me that you're actually gonna be able to add this on as an option. Some people are a little scared to drill into their Diamondback cover or whatever, I get it. So I think they're gonna offer this installed as an option. So you can basically order a cover with this installed and they'll install it for you from the factory, which is nice. I know a lot of people have been waiting on that. So it consists of this this leg here, which mounts to this. So this leg's kind of a, an existing, somewhat of an existing Yakima product that um, works with the rest of their ecosystem. And then the crossbars up here, which obviously you can mount tents. This is actually their Yakima road shower and other stuff has some integrated um, kind of tie down points here. Uh, so that is the rack system, it's a two base two crossbar system um, and it'll have basically four channels sorry yeah, it's snowing so uh, two on the front panel two on the rear panel and you can actually within the Yakima system get different length crossbars which is one of the nice things to have more room for this uh, so this crossbar is big and beefy and chunky 
So both the overhaul and the outpost, Yakima's rack systems, this is the outpost. I'll show you the overhaul in a second. I believe they have uh, 300 pounds of dynamic off-road rating, 500 pounds dynamic on-road, and something, you know, like 1,300, 1,500 pounds or something of static load. So plenty beefy for uh, your rooftop tents out there. And this is a, an iCamper SkyCamp 2.0, so the full-size iCamper SkyCamp on here. I had some questions about this. I was like, oh yeah, you know, all this stuff is included. You get the tent, you get the road shower, you get max track, you get all this stuff, the rigged in the giveaway. Um, and I was like, I'll probably like take off some of my old and busted stuff like the shovel. But people asked that I include the shovel, my old faithful. So maybe I'll just toss that in and it'll come as is. So let me take this off for you real quick. So these are just the, uh, Quick fists, uh, so Yakima sells their own versions of these as well, or you can just kind of use any accessories because you can get this bar as well, and that'll connect between this and this bar, and just gives you basically a place to mount some more stuff, reinforces the whole system a little bit, and then this thing expands obviously, so, uh, and then you bolt it down once you're at the right point but basically if you want to set these at different lengths, you can do that and still use that little portion. So again, like I was mentioning earlier, has these tie downs, so obviously I have a rooftop tent, so I'm not gonna use these, but if you're just lashing stuff to the, to the racks, you can put your tie downs through here. All these little guys, I don't know if you can tell, are numbered, so you can kind of dial in the fit perfectly. And then it's just a super easy mounting system. The one thing with the front runner racks is it's a little bit harder to move them around and stuff. There's a lot of bolts you have to undo. For these, it's just two, two bolts per leg, and then you can slide it or remove it all together. Super easy uh, installation, super easy to move these racks around or remove them all together if you need to take them off just to use the Diamondback as is. I get a lot of questions about rack systems in the tent. How's the Diamondback fold up with uh, that stuff on it doesn't um, it doesn't fold when I have the tent on it and it also wouldn't fold if you had this on it so if you just have the legs which is all you need just the legs on the front and the rear this cover will fold with the racks on it but just not the stuff on the rack so that's a big question I get asked does the Diamondback still open yes it does with the rack system but not uh, with the tent on top those that are new to Diamondback covers this back half, this is the Diamondback HD, and this front half, they both open, and that'll allow you to get access into your bed. How I use it, you know, I'm not opening it much, so it's kind of a moot for me when I have the tent on it. But yeah, this is, one of these bolts basically is locking, so I don't have the, the locking thing, but you can put it on and then put the key in. And then if you have a bunch of other Yakima accessories, you can match the key, so you have one key to you know lock your bikes up and your kayaks and, and the rack system itself. So really cool setup. And so what I was running previously and what I still am running on the Tacoma is the front runner rack system. So the front runner was a similar system. It's a little lower price point. So the front runner is a little cheaper uh, than this, this big Yakima system. So these legs actually, uh, front runner is also super modular. I bought longer legs. So the front runner rack system will be even lower to the bed than this is. But you can see even this is lower than the Yakima. So what you're gonna get is basically the front runner, which I have on the Tacoma still, is gonna get you a certain height off of the bed. So depending on what accessories you're putting under, how high you want to mount the thing on top, now you can kind of dial in the height that you want. So whether it's this shorter front runner system, the taller Yakima system, or if it's the even taller, uh, I'll grab the leg and show you in a second, overhaul system, you can kind of dial in the height. So the front runner rack system, a little lower price point, a little lower to the ground. Front runner obviously has their own separate uh, ecosystem of accessories, but also most rack system crossbars are going to work. Both the Yakima and the front runner have a little channel so you can pop accessories into the top or into the bottom as well to mount more things. And you can adjust their bars and their cross legs front and back. So kind of similar in that regard. The Yakimas are rated a little heavier duty and this is a little more 
low profile and streamlined. The other advantage of the Yakimas is the crossbars are longer. So these uh, front runner crossbars, I wish they were a little bit longer, especially on a big truck like this. On the Tacoma, it's fine, but the Yakima, you can actually get different size crossbars. All right, so I hope you can see all this. So basically we have the front runner, which is the lowest option, and then the outpost, which I believe is uh, 13 inches height from the bed to the top of the crossbar. And the overhaul, which is this one, is adjustable and it starts even higher. So it starts at 19 inches and goes all the way up to 30 inches. So it's kind of an infinitely adjustable system. I'll pull it down and show you here, but it has an internal arm that can go up and down, manual adjustment there. Um, and that'd be nice if you have long things, if you have long boards or paddle boards or something that you wanna just run the whole length. And depending on how tall your rack is, you can dial that system up. Or if you just have a longer tent than what your bed can accommodate, you wanna run it over the top, that's a good system for that. So this is a this is one that I've been requesting Diamondback kinda get dialed in for a long time. And now it is here. So for instance, if you wanted to run something like the Sky Camp full size on a short bed Tacoma, now you can because you can pop that up and over the top uh, on top of your Diamondback cover. So here now, I slid it out to about its maximum. So you can see you can adjust it to any of this. It's kind of, again, infinitely adjustable for the height. But this is at max extension, which gets you a 30 inch height off the bed rack. So it's very tall. Um, both the overhaul and the outpost use the same foot and channel system, as well as the same crossbars. So if you wanted to get them both or whatever, I'm sure you could um, order the legs and mount it to the same system if you're like, well, sometimes I want it really, really tall and other times I want it a little lower. So anyway, a little video of the new, um, the new rack system from Diamondback. I am using, again, the outpost. So this is what I'm gonna give away with the truck, the outpost, but I'm not gonna speak for Diamondback. Maybe if you wanted to switch it out for the overhaul, they might, they might accommodate you. I don't know, we'll see. But yeah, that's the setup. So the outpost gives a nice height with the Sky Camper. Obviously, I kind of wanted to bring that up. Also gives you some room to mount stuff like the Max Tracks, though. I didn't, I didn't find a super good solution for mounting the Max Tracks. I actually have just drilled <laughs> and mounted in there. Um, kind of, I don't know that I would say, I don't think the ghetto is necessarily the right word because it's like robust mount, but not a proper certainly not a proper way to mount the max track. So as the system's out for a bit, I'm sure people will uh, find new and better solutions to mount gear up on there. And you know, again, kind of a modular setup to where you can dial in the use. If you didn't want to run a road shower here, obviously you could do, you know, maybe a kayak mount or a bike mount or any number of things kind of along the tent because you have these longer crossbars available to you now. All right, so hopefully that was helpful. Um, sorry I didn't go over it as much in the last video, but again, it wasn't quite out yet. I didn't know what details uh, I could talk about or anything like that. So out now, very cool. So now you have a bunch of options at a few different price points with a few different heights and stuff. So you can kind of dial in exactly what you need for your setup. Again, uh, probably still gonna keep running the front runners on the old Tacoma. Um, but if you need a little higher or whatever, or a bigger truck, like these are really great for a bigger truck because of the wider crossbars and everything, you know, you do you. I won't tell you what to get. Sweet, sweet guys. Well, again, hope you share this raffle giveaway with all your friends and family. Like we really want to raise a lot of a lot of money and who knows if, if this is a hit and Diamondback and I feel like it was worthwhile and everyone was excited about it and we raised a bunch of money. Maybe we'll do another cool one next year, you know, different truck, maybe different organization, charity organization or something. We don't know, this was the first year. A lot of it was kind of making it up as we, as, as we went along. So huge thanks. You guys should be thankful to Diamondback because they're just super chill. I kind of, we tossed around some ideas and we just kind of rolled with it. So they were super accommodating of kind of how I wanted to do things. And it's just, 
it's been a lot of fun. Been a lot of fun on my end. And Diamondback's just awesome, made in USA product, great company. Uh, so I couldn't think of a better company to support with your hard earned dollars and with a chance to win this sweet truck and raise a bunch of money for charity. And I'll hand you off the keys and we can high five and whatnot and maybe grab some dinner. I don't know, we'll see. More info to come, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> just just started getting rambly. So probably a lot of kind of project updates and whatnot, videos that I'll be releasing soon. A lot of people have been asking like, what's status on the house? So I give a house update, there's no status. We haven't broken ground yet, but soon, I hope very, very soon. So we'll transition to some home building videos. Uh, maybe I'll get a different, a different Diamondback cover and show you the uses of, of that with uh, construction building and whatnot because uh, I am gonna be the general contractor on the new house. So I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be physically building a lot of it, hiring, uh, hiring subs and stuff, but I'll basically be a general contractor for the next nine months. So I'm sure you'll see some of that. Cool, all right guys fun. It's been real. Really excited that someone's going to have an opportunity to win this and we're going to raise all this money for the charity. So thanks for following along on this journey, freedomtremor.com. If you have any questions, as always, let me know down below in the comments. Love reading comments. So comment anything, comment hi, tell me about your day. Tell me how your Christmas was. Tell me what you got. Tell me what you gave whatever. And then as always, uh, YouTube, I, I, I've been pointing at the wrong corner. I think it's this corner. YouTube kind of hides the video description. So I have a bunch of links down there. Anytime I link, any, anytime I use something in a video, like I'll link to these sunglasses, I'll link to this jacket. It's linked down in this little tiny little arrow. If you're watching on a mobile device, I think on desktop, maybe it's still show more, but I put all the relevant links there. I have a website uh, with a page, llod.us slash coupons, where I put all the links to my partners and coupons and whatnot. So um, yeah, this little, this little arrow down there, click it. Not just for me, for your other, other YouTube people that you follow that you wanna check out their links or whatever. Cool, all right guys, hope you're ready. I think this will be my last video of the year. So I'll see you next year.